So let's have a look at the Rangers team first of all. And uh, Alan McLaren has come back in. There's no Rosenthal, no Gascoigne. We knew that too well in advance. And uh, Trevor Stephen, well, the experience he brings to the team could be vital at this stage of the season. And a look now at Hibbs. Well, Greg Miller comes into the side, and uh, he's a player with great pace. Uh, Jimmy McQuilkin is out uh, injured. Pat McGinley and Willie Miller suspended. So alongside me, as ever this afternoon, is Charlie Nicholas. Yes, good afternoon, Jerry, and good afternoon to everyone. It should be another pressure game for Rangers. I would expect Rangers today to go for the throat quite early on. But Hibbs have been speaking to Kevin Harper this weekend and Darren Jackson, both very lifted with their team and their performance against Celtic in the Cup. So looking forward to a good afternoon for Hibs and Rangers, which I think will be a very interesting game. And the referee this afternoon, uh, Hugh Dallas from Motherwell, who's on the FIFA list. And he's joined this afternoon by John Young from Thornley Bank and Jim Walker from Glasgow. The fourth official is uh, Stuart Dougal from Burnside. So we're three Class 1 referees uh, on the very day that uh, many of the referees are meeting to discuss an elite band that will handle the big matches. And uh, Gordon Jury there, who's come back into the Rangers side uh, recently. Well, Hibs hit the side of him, he scored six times in his last seven matches against the Easter Road side. And he lines up now with Brian Laudrup. And away we go in this highly important match. It's a measure of the task facing Hibs at Rangers are unbeaten here in 23 domestic matches since losing 3-0 to Hearts in January 96. Well, of those 23 games, Rangers have won 20 and drawn three. So it is very much in domestic terms, Fortress Ibrox. And uh, right away, as we can see, uh, David Robertson causing problems and uh, winning the free kick for Rangers, which is taken by Albert Stagoff. Here's McLaren. Loudrop. Well, Cleland's well forward already. Well, flag went up rather late there. The assistant referee on the far side, Jim Walker, had a think about that one. But uh, Cleland racing forward right away. But, uh, the linesman, or assistant referee as we must call them these days, yeah. uh, got it right. Well, I, th I think it was Loudrop who probably confused him. I think he was on the way back down the field thinking Loudrop would maybe go for a dribble. Decided to make the pass, but he was offside. Well, they're on foot's opponents as well as officials. It's laid off by Trevor Stephen. What we mustn't forget as uh, Rangers look over their shoulders at uh, Celtic, four points behind, just how important this is to Hibernian this afternoon. And uh, Jim Duffy, when I was talking to him over the weekend, said that it is his intention to come here and attack this afternoon. But, uh, to do that, Hibs will have to get possession and push forward. Well, as Jury pushes forward, the offside flag is up again. But a remarkable scoring record, as I mentioned, uh, against the Bernian. Six goals in his last seven matches, and that included four in the 7-0 thrashing here last season. He seems to have that night, Jerry. An important times of the season last, last season, I think he was a major part of Rangers winning the title. Tremendous burst of goals and really helped him push and he's doing the same so far this season. And of course he carried that forward to uh, Euro 96 for Scotland. Here's Cleland. Long one again looking for Jury. Headed away by Hunter. It's Jury again. Stephen. Good ball towards Albert. And a real hot one there for Jim Layton to scramble away. Every time this man gets to the end of the ball, you can sense the anticipation among the crowd. Great ball through. And then a tremendous effort here by George Alberts, who already has 11 goals to his credit. Well, Jim Layton, I think maybe trying to catch that one, but there was such power in it. So the corner comes in now, and uh, Richard Goff is uh, well forward. Breaks away again to Trevor Stephen, who's making an impact in these early stages. And the uh, jury was almost on the edge of that one. Here's Loudrop. 
Good challenge going in from Elliott. It's Loudrop again, taking the ball from Cleland. Good understanding between these two. Loudrop again showing great close control. Gotcha! Rangers take the lead. Four minutes gone here at Highbrook Stadium. A sensational start by Rangers. And Richard Goff again leads by example. He gets his sixth goal of the season. Loudrop. Well, we always felt Rangers were going to go for it early on. Loudrop dragged Dennis out of the central area. He's the aerial threat. Richard Goff attacks it as he does so well. There's Dennis. He's pulled out of position. Loudrop's ability doesn't need to look up. He knows if he throws it in a good area. Goff or somebody else will be there. This time it's Goff. Leighton, no chance. Well, once again, the understanding between Cleland and Loudrop the opening down that right hand side great play by Loudrop here's Jury good touch by him it's Clellan very quickly closed down by Elliott through now for Harper well, this will be a real test of Hibs metal now really got to come up with an early reply well, they could be in the end of a real hiding here this afternoon Rangers looking really up for things at the moment Jury is the perfect man to play in that forward role. He'll harry and hassle defenders all afternoon. Loudrop will float just off him. It's really up to Hibbs now to get something out of Darren Jackson, one of their experienced players. Certainly there's pace from Kevin Harper and uh, Greg Miller as well. But uh, Rangers at the moment turning the screw. Here's Loudrop again. Well challenged by... Young Michael Rennick. You do tend to see, Jerry, when you've had a little layoff, missed a few games, you tend to get a little bit rusty and it takes a bit of time to get the system going. The Rangers so look so fired up for this this afternoon, really look as if they're determined to get this three points and keep their gap between them and Celtic. Well, Richard Goff only has a few games to play now for Rangers after ten years here, and uh, he's certainly determined that he will leave here with this ninth championship. Well and truly wrapped up. Andy Gorham there, who's been another real important figure for Rangers this season. And uh, Rangers do have the best defensive record in the league. They've lost just 21 goals in the 26 league games before today. Also, the highest scorers that one from Goff there was number 67. And they're after more. Here's Loudrop. Greg Miller challenges. Robertson looks determined. He leaves it now to Alberts. Well, almost a good ball and well cut out by Gordon Hunter. Hunter, a vastly experienced player. Did extremely well there. It was a superb attempt by Alberts through Todd Robertson, who had taken off in another one of those runs. Here's Ferguson. Started a run down the right hand side as uh, McLaren pushes forward. This is Cleland now. Through for Loudrop. Again, they combine well. And you see his problem at the moment, but Kevin Harper has had to go way back deep into his own half to do some defending. Hips have been unable to pressure Rangers so far with uh, almost eight minutes gone. Turn there by Ferguson, but no one on the far side in the Rangers jersey. But, uh, Jury's come across now to make the challenge. Well, that's a point I was making earlier about Gordon Jury. He will not let defenders rest. He come all the way across there to make that challenge, and Rangers have the throw in. Touch from Alberts. Here's Robertson. Alberts again. Few 
Dallas has awarded a free kick, in fact, a bit of uh, pulling going on there. As uh, Robertson pushed forward, free kick to Rangers. Another opportunity here, once again, Goff has moved forward. Robertson, Greg Miller's back there defending. This is Darren Jackson, quickly closed down by Goff. Charnley, it's a poor one though, straight to Bjorklund. have scored just two goals in the last four games and uh, let me tell you one was a known goal by Wraith Rovers the other a penalty so you can see where they're struggling defensively they haven't been too clever either but, uh, they've really got to get going here get some cohesion into their play get some pressure on this Rangers defense but, uh, Rangers at the moment playing with a lot of confidence this is Alberts, Robertson's away again, breaks to Jury. Low drops there too, Robertson continues, he's run through the middle. Great play again by Loudrop, he's got the corner, conceded by Remick. Superb entertainment again from the Dane. It's not easy defending this, Greg Miller decides to try and take the responsibility. The stop this man becomes very awkward, but young Rennick's positional sense was clever. So again, it's uh, Trevor Stephen who's uh, taking most of the set pieces. And who hits a quality ball, Richard Goff's here again, looking for number two. McLaren comes in this time, and it's well held by Jim Layton. Well, Jim Layton has managed 11 shutouts in uh, 32 previous games and uh, eight away from Easter Road but he was picking the ball out of the net after just four minutes here this afternoon uh, Richard Goff head up that's the difference between the teams Rangers lead by a goal to nil here they come again through Loudrop Robertson started a run well he just slightly checked out of it and uh, that allowed uh, Brian Grant the former Aberdeen player to send the ball out for the corner so the pressure still very much on Jim Layton and the Hibs defenders well, certainly from watching Rangers at Dunfermline a couple of weeks ago, and there's a great determination about them, there's no complacency. Good ball struck in again. A lot of swerve on that one from Alberts. Here's Loudrop, Alberts has a lot of room in the left. That's uh, Chip Charnley doing some defending. Still hips, face pressure here, it's Loudrop. A bit ambitious there as he tries to pick out David Robertson, but nonetheless, applause rings around Ibrook Stadium. And with just about 11 and a half, 12 minutes gone, Loudrop has certainly been the supreme entertainer already. Must be a major concern, though, at the moment for Jim Duffy, Darren Jackson, and Kevin Harper. Hardly had the touch in Rangers' half. When that tends to happen over a long period of time, he's you start getting confused whether to hold the ball in or just knock it off first time. They've got to try and get some service to the front too. And Darren Jackson there taking a second prize from Richard Goff and that high ball. But uh, certainly he is the form man, 11 goals this season and he scored in two of the three league meetings against Rangers this season and uh, two into the four games last season. So he really does have a good record against the Ibrox side. But uh, Hibs have got to get the ball through to him, as Charlie was saying. Got to get more involved in the right way. Loudrop pops up on the far side now. Very much in a free roll again this afternoon. Jury's through the middle. Alberts is arriving. It's Jury! What an opportunity to make it 2 0. Great ball in from Loudrop. Right across the face of goal. Gordon Jury was here. Jim Layton spread himself. And did extremely well. It's an awkward bounce for Judy, awkward tight. He does the right thing, keeping it down, but credit to Jim Layton. So the corner flies in, but uh, 
ball perhaps drifted out there and it takes the pressure off Hibbs. But uh, Gordon Jury coming so close, Jim Layton using all of his experience. So Loudrup with the perfect ball, just a bounce there in front uh, of the striker. Right away, Rangers are back into the attack. It was Jury who fed it through there to Loudrup. He's trying to hold off the challenge there of David Elliott. So McLaren's head up. There's Chanley. Slack one there by Greg Miller. Perhaps the occasion just getting to him at the moment. That's Cleland for Rangers. Have to get away from Jackson. It, uh, draws applause. The Rangers are playing with great confidence here, great style. And once again, David Robertson wins a free kick for Rangers. And this is just about the uh, distance that uh, George Alberts enjoys. Well, that's the second one that uh, Robertson has won for Rangers in these early stages, second free kick. Well, George Alberts has filled us uh, on a couple of occasions. He's run at the ball, played it short, uh, but uh, certainly this is his kind of range. I, I don't know if there's a range that this guy doesn't like, Jerry. <laughs> well, uh, Hugh Dallas has been kind here, he's moving it back uh, a yard or two. <laughs> uh, of course, he did score at Easter Road against the Bernie, and Jim Layton already knows what it's like. The hammer starts his run, he clips it forward. Chip Goff, set. And again, Jim Layton keeps hips in this game. He's under pressure here, though. Well, Richard Goff coming in the far side. But once again, the Hibernian goalkeeper does his job and does it well. Nice clip forward by George Alberts. But Hibbs failed to get it away here. Then they were in all kinds of trouble. Goff challenged. It was an opportunity for Alberts. And Leighton did well. Here's Jury. Clever. Trevor Stephen. The early ball from him, Jury attacks it. Down he goes, and the free kick goes to Hibernian. Well, the Rangers fans are looking for a penalty. But Hugh Dallas was well up with the play. It was a good early ball, this. But the referee had no hesitation, and he awarded the free kick to Hibernian. The worrying thing for Hibs is Rangers are making a lot of chances. Hibs have done really nothing so far. And that's another poor attempt. And Gorham just plucks that one out of the air. So Hugh Dallas called this one right. Good early ball yep. from Trevor Stephen. Gordon Hunter it was went into the challenge. Also, Jerry will need to get this midfield problem sorted out. The triangle three of Alberts, Ferguson, and Stephen have all got good mobility today, all moving in good angles. And Hibs at the moment don't know how to pick up, and they're really dominating the game at this moment in time. So, Van Loudrup again through looking for Alberts. Nicely weighted ball, but it's just out of play now. But Alberts and Loudrup have the confidence to attempt these things, he just lifted it over the defence into the path of Alberts, but uh, there was still sufficient cover, and the ball just went out of play. This man has become a huge favourite, five goals in his last 11 games, including three penalty kicks. Is he in Ferguson? Alberts. 
Lowdrop steps away from Chanley. Robertson's away forward again. Well, Rangers rather fortunate in the first place there to get away with that, but uh, Hibs have possession now. This is Harper. Jackson makes a good run. And Bjorkling goes down. And the free kick has been awarded. Jackson just caught Bjorkland as they ran in here. Got his heel. David Elliott. Well, he's caught by Cleland, and Jim Layton, thankfully for Hoops, was alert to that situation. Rangers putting tremendous effort. Look at Gordon Jury here chasing back. Tremendous effort coming from the champions. Here's Charlie. Hibernian's way. Again, Hugh Dallas was well placed. Charlie come in here, and uh, certainly a high boot uh, initially from McLaren. Charlie was a bit high as well. And the referee has come down on the side of Hibernian, and they have an opportunity here now. Only for the first time in this match, with just over 20 minutes gone, to do something. It's Charlie clipping it forward. Uh, the header from Gordon Hunter is a weak one. And they'll have to do better than that to beat Andy Gorham, who has 15 shutouts to his credit this season. Hunter climbing there above McLaren, but uh, no power. That ends up making an easy save for Andy Gorham. You would think in an opportunity like that, they've got to at least make Andy Gorham work a little bit. They feel that they can get back into this game. Rangers has been a little bit slack over the last couple of minutes, so Hibs must take advantage of that. There's been a clash, uh, Rangers player and Hips player. Gordon Jury there has uh, taken a knock. And uh, Gordon Hunter, both of them going for the ball, clash of heads, and uh, both requiring some treatment here. Uh, Jim Duffy is uh, dispensing some advice. But, uh, Hibs have really got to find something here. They've made no impact in this game so far. And certainly, when you look at uh, the goals for record, they've averaged just a goal a game, 26 goals in 26 games before today. Conceded 43. And there's Goff uh, easily dealing there with uh, Darren Jackson. It's played through by McLaren. This is Albert. And chased by Charlie. Loud drops away again. awarded well, this is really the perfect time for Trevor Stephen to come back into the Rangers side someone who can really calm things down great ability great touch put his foot in the ball just cam it there he is again involved this is Cleland Stephen again nice ball forward from Trevor Stephen loud ups there it's away by Greg Miller Huge task for Michael Rennick today, trying to take care of the threat of Loudrop when he breaks down the left-hand side. There's Charlie, who's getting the treatment here from this large crowd. Chris Jackson plays it through. Darren Jackson gets the free kick. Ian Ferguson pleads his case. Clumsy challenge. Good decision again from Hugh Dallas. He's been well up with play today. Charlie. Half part. Well, another slip by Bjorkland, uh, who's not had a comfortable start to this game. Might just give uh, a glimmer of hope. 
Here's Darren Jackson. Away to the far side. And Andy Gorham again. Pulls off an important save from Kevin Harper. Point blank. It was a good ball in from Darren Jackson. Beyond the Rangers defence. And from point blank, he managed to stop it. Wasn't the most powerful head in the world, but he didn't have much time to think about that one. to take the corner kick. The word there for uh, Greg Miller. This is spoken out of turn. It's another good one coming in. Richard Goff is under real pressure there. McLaren's up there too. And Andy Gorham is on the spot once again. Well, that's more encouraging from a hip's point of view. It really, it all began with a slip from uh, Bjorklund that uh, has allowed uh, hips to force a couple of set pieces. Uh, Rangers defence struggling a bit here. It was Andy Gorham, in fact, uh, who got that touch on it as uh, McLaren also climbed for the ball. <laughs> Hugh Dallas telling Michael Rennick to take a few steps back. Goff has been supreme in the air so far. Uh, Darren Jackson winning it against Ian Ferguson through for Harper. Played off now to Chris Jackson. Elliott's breaking out on the left hand side. Jackson goes in alone. And so unlucky off the base of the post. Well, this is better play now from Hibernian. Just a reminder to Rangers there is still work to be done. Still over 25 minutes gone here at Ibrooks. It was a perfect start from Rangers, a goal by Richard Goff after just four minutes. Now in the last few minutes, Hibs have caused Rangers some problems. It's good play from Chris Jackson. He's not quite sure if he's going to get the shot and decides to go on his left, which is his weaker. He's, it's a great strike, he's beat Andy Gorham. No one there for the rebound. The difference is that Hibs are now starting to play in Rangers' his half. Trevor Stephen digs in well there, but uh, Hibbs get it away. Stephen has taken a bit of a knock, but he is getting back to his feet. Let's play forward now by Elliott. The well, Rangers started this game as though they would sweep uh, Hibbs off the field. But uh, there have been more encouraging signs that we'll get a bit more of a contest. Jim Duffy will be a happier man now. Robertson. Put it by Charlie. It breaks to Albert. Good early ball from him through for Jury. Low drops in the middle. Cleland's arriving in the far side. David Robertson's there. So too is Trevor Stephen. It's Robertson. Well, you saw the Rangers' ability to get players forward. It's a good cross. David Robertson's a difficult one. I think it's Chris Jackson who comes across him. Does enough to put him off. It's a good break again from Rangers. David Robertson getting well forward, but uh, Rangers have uh, another injury problem here. Trevor Stephen, who took a knock a few minutes ago, has uh, taken another one. So they wouldn't want to lose him. He's been influential in this match. Scored a goal last week, Trevor Stephen, in the cup tie against East Fife after being out for a couple of months. I suppose the problem, Charlie, is at his age now, the knocks come well, they, fast and furious. Yeah, they come they, they come a bit more often to you and they, they, they get harder to shake off and to recover, it takes a bit more time. But I think the pleasant fact for Rangers fans with him being back, his positional awareness is very, very, you know, he's very clever at it. He's always available for the pass. When you've got people like Loudrop and Robertson in the left, and he's on the right. You know, you've got two quality flanks. He's so influential in that midfield. Well, like uh, Hibbs, uh, Rangers have gone for three outfield players on the bench this afternoon. Uh, Gordon Hunter, as you can see there, has also taken a knock. But uh, on the bench for Rangers this afternoon, Derek McKinnon, Sally McCoy, and Eric Bo Anderson. That's been a feature of Walter Smith's selections uh, of late, that uh, he's got plenty of firepower on the bench. He starts with one up front. 
But uh, Ali McCoy with uh, 19 goals and Eric Boynderson with 12 goals. And he certainly can come on and make uh, a contribution. But you see Trevor Stephen being caught there as he went into that challenge. But happily, he's back on his feet. And uh, Gordon Hunter. He's also OK. And we have Ian Cameron, Keith Wright and Darren Dodds on the bench. Smith has come back down trackside. He'll be pleased with the start his side made to this match. Opening 15 minutes or so, but uh, a bit more concerned. But they do have the ability to break effectively. It's given away to Ian Ferguson. Good ball through by him to Loudrup. Jury's in the middle. Alberts is arriving. Taken down by Brian Grant. Jury challenges and challenges well. He's down. And the referee has awarded a free kick right on the edge of the box. Well, once again, Gordon Jury showed great determination. He was caught there just outside the area, fell inside, but the challenge was clearly outside. But good persistent play again by Gordon Jury, who's been harrying defenders since kickoff. Tripped there just outside the area. Another opportunity for Rangers, and uh, that all started because the ball had been given away to Ian Ferguson. Once again, Hibbs had surrendered possession. Ferguson had a good ball through towards Loudrup. And it's uh, Ian Ferguson who's hovering over the ball. Alberts is there as well. And it's uh, charged down there by Brian Grant. Oh, a nice little turn there by David Elliott, and uh, Hibbs playing out of a tight situation extremely well and uh, very confidently. Oh, Ferguson thinks it's his, but uh, the referee thinks otherwise. Throw in to Hibernian. Well, Rangers are getting ready to make a change. Oh, Derek McInnes is uh, going to come on as play rages on here. Trevor Stephen is a man who will be leaving the field to hit the referee. Now spotted the intention. Well, that's a pity from Rangers' point of view. He was playing well, Trevor Stephen. He'll be disappointed. On comes uh, Derek McInnes, former Morton player. It was in a decent season. Well, that's given away now by David Robertson. And uh, Chris Jackson was in the end of it. Long and play through now by. Claren, Jury's again there, parrying and hassling. Northland challenges uh, Darren Jackson. It's through now for Harper. By Ian Ferguson, an early touch here for Rangers substitute. So Rangers continue to lead by one goal to nil. Richard Goff, who's in possession at the moment, scored the goal after just four minutes. The header, powerful header. That's Goff again. Yorkland. Robertson. Alberts has started a run. Nice play by Ferguson. By Hunter, not effectively, though. Jury's in there. So, too, is McInnes, who wins it well. Ferguson, Jury. Through for Loudrup, who's onside. Still, it's Loudrup. He's been forced wide though by Leighton. There's still no one there in support. Gordon Jury's arriving now. Well, Loudrup did everything he could. Well, that was quite amazing. He was forced wide, and there was really no one at this stage to play it into. Leighton did his job well. But uh, great close control here uh, by Loudrop. Twisting and turning. And Leighton is struggling there. It's another corner. Two Rangers. 
but uh, great skill, great close control. You just wonder though if you look back to the Easter Road game when he got the penalty, if he would have went down this time. So Alberts with the corner. Goff is up there, so too is McLaren. Goff climbs for it. Well, he's enjoying a fine game, the Rangers skipper. Six goals he has this season, including this afternoon's. So McInnes for Rangers, McLaren. Here's Chanley. Well, he gets blocked here by his own player. Bit of a misunderstanding himself and uh, Darren Jackson going for the one ball. And it's Rangers pushing forward again. Clellan feeds it through to Loudrop. Clellan keeps his run going. Jury's in the middle. Still it's Loudrop. Well, what a chance for McInnes. Here's Albert. Well, the opportunities are coming thick and fast again for Rangers. They were queuing up. It was laid off by Cleland, uh, who really started that move with uh, a good ball through uh, to Loudrop. Again, he showed great skill. And he's done him for pace again. He's done Dennis for pace. He really must try and finish that, McInnes. As soon as this is rolled back, you just felt sorry for Jim Layton. The pace is incredible in that shot. So, ten minutes of this first half left. Here come Rangers again. Robertson's well forward as Alberts pushes through. Here's Robertson. It's another corner to Rangers, conceded by Greg Miller. Now, once again, we see the likes of Miller and Harper having to run back and defend. The Rangers are getting a grip of this match again. Again, Goff and McLaren up there. The outswinger from Alberts, Goff climbs. Rangers looking very determined here. McInnes digs in well. Here's Loudrop lifting it away to the far side. Jury! Well, Rangers really should have this game tied up by now. I don't know if Jury's annoyed there with Richard Goff. Goff was running in as well. Two Rangers players there. We've got to expect Jury to take this. I actually thought it was a free kick against Derek McInnes, but it's a good cross. Jury's got to take it. It's an awkward angle, but Lydros, he picks him out ever so well. But again, the positional ability of Leighton has made it easy for him. Well, Jim Leighton's had a couple of good saves, and uh, he's kept Hibbs in this match. 75 caps, he's won for Scotland, using all of his experience this afternoon. Some treatment now for David Elliott, the former Celtic player. He had three seasons at Parkhead. Also spells at Falkirk, Patrick Thistle and St Mirren. And the Rangers fans are enjoying what they're seeing. And uh, certainly Rangers could have put this game well beyond uh, Hibernian by now. Jim Duffy there still waiting for his first league win. And unless his team can really settle to a pattern, he's going to have to wait a bit longer. David Robertson, foul there by him on Greg Miller. And Jim Duffy is down there waving his men forward. He promised to come here and attack. His team have found it difficult to get out so far. It's clipped through by Elliott. It's uh, Bjorklund who gets it away, only as far as Harper. Here's Darren Jackson, surrounded by Rangers players. Well, Jackson is furious, he's chasing after the referee, he felt he was impeded there. It's Loudrop on the counter-attack. And uh, Sean Dennis has uh, injured himself, making that challenge on Loudrop. He's on the deck as play goes on. Here's Darren Jackson again. It's a weak effort, though. And Andy Gorham sportingly kicks the ball out of play to allow some attention. 
He went down rather awkwardly there as he made this challenge uh, on Loudrop. Yeah, he's trodden his foot accidentally, but he's trodden his right foot. Always a painful, painful job that is. Just that glimmer of hope again for Hibs over Jackson, who's still complaining about the penalty issue. Him and Harper, when they get the ball and hold it up through the middle, Rangers and Bjorkland, I was thinking, particular, doesn't particularly know what to do with them. And the little light that maybe Hibs can see in this game is going to be between Darren Jackson and Kevin Harper up front to give them some hope. Well, Walter Smith was saying before a kick-off, Charlie, that uh, it's maybe no bad thing that uh, when Rangers look over their shoulder, Celtic are still there. Four points uh, adrift at kick-off time today. Certainly, from Rangers' point of view, they are driving forward. They've had a lot of chances in this match. Yeah, they've only had really a, a slack five minutes, I think, Jerry. Other than that, they've been in total control. Probably other than Jim Layton, they could have been further in front here today. But I think it does, in a way, make Walter Smith's job a little bit easier. But the fact that uh, Celtic just keep winning, they keep the pressure on them. So the drive and the, the hunger for to get this title for Rangers is always supplied from Celtic winning most Saturdays. The Hibs player, who's been a good acquisition, former Wraith Rovers player, he's recovered. And uh, now Hibs return the ball. Well, just a few moments ago, Darren Jackson was complaining that uh, he had been impeded as he pushed forward. It's uh, played through to him. It was a nice little uh, turn by him. And he chased angrily after the referee, but uh, Hugh Dallas has been very much on the ball this afternoon, and uh, he's dealt with the game very efficiently. A little bit of slackness there by McLaren. And Darren Jackson does well against Bjorkland. But the Rangers again get players back. And a free kick is awarded against uh, Loudra. He's not happy. The referee's striding towards him. Yeah, well, it's a good call again from Hugh Dallas. He's took his eye off the ball to, to go and try and check uh, the run off. I think it was Gordon Hunter. Just a free kick. Rangers and Bjorkland again being slack. Slack this out from Chris Jackson. McInnes pounces, Loudrop's away, showing great pace. And Michael Rennick, a young player, does extremely well in a difficult situation. Chanley's touch lets him down there. This is Ferguson for Rangers. Through for Alberts. Loudrop. Robertson's running in support. There he is. Spins out for the throw-in. Two Rangers. Good long throw towards Goff. Well, hit scramble it away. Jackson again with uh, Bjorkland. Uh, being forced back all the way. This is Elliot. Quickly closed down by McInnes. Here's Darren Jackson again, covering a lot of ground. The free kick is awarded. Well, Darren Jackson's temperament being tested to the full here. Yeah, they are testing his temperament, but I must admit his, his attitude so far and his appetite to get involved in this game has been spot on. And I do, I do feel as if he probably looks upon it as if he finds he can maybe get something from this first half. Just under three minutes of the half left. So David Elliott sends it through. Not the most convincing ball in the world. It's picked up by Harper. Here's Chanley. Well, Harper's gone down now, holding his face. That's right in front of the referee. Hugh Dallas has a backward glance here. The hips player is still on the deck. It's played through by Greg Miller. And Richard Goff sees it safely out. Now the referee's sprinting over uh, towards Kevin Harper, who's still holding his face. He took a blow there in those exchanges. Yeah, I think it was uh, both himself and McInnes involved there. McInnes going over to give his apologies. I think you, you, you normally tell by that reaction that it's probably accidental. 
but again, it was the ability of Harper to hold it in. Jackson's done it on a few occasions. It's that worrying Rangers. So it's still Rangers lead by Richard Goff's goal after four minutes of the game. Here is Goff in possession. It's away by McLaren. Good play by Loudrup, getting away from Sean Dennis. Jury's in the middle. Alberts is arriving, so too is Ian Ferguson. It's just beyond Jury, though, and uh, headed behind by Michael Rennett. Good turn there, though, by Loudrup, getting away from Sean Dennis. Kenny shows great awareness, Loudrup. Let's play through now to David Robertson. It's left by Chanley, it uh, almost fell to Alberts. This is Harper with the Bjorklund. Quickly taken. Charlie. Good for Harper. Ian Fergus makes a good challenge. Still hits have it though. It's uh, laid off by Grant. This is Darren Jackson. Chris Jackson's running in support. Still it's Darren Jackson trying to create something here. And it's Ian Ferguson doing some good defending. Now it's McInnes as Rangers break forward. Welland runs with him. Loudrup's away through the middle. Oh, it's reached Loudrup! And he's missed it! Well, Loudrup got away from Gordon Hunter. Just there. And what a golden opportunity, but as he struck it, it was just wide, it was going wide. Well, I think Gordon Hunter... He's got to pick up better positional sense than that. But he probably had more time when he first thought Loudrop. He just doesn't catch it spot on. He's dragged it across the goal. So we're now into stoppage time in this first half. I've no doubt that uh, Walter Smith will have a few words to say to his players. They could really have finished this off. They've had the opportunities. But uh, Hibbs still hanging in there. Just... Uh, a goal behind. This is McInnes. Very unfortunate there uh, for Hibernian. Well, Charlie, your thoughts on this first half? Well, I'm surprised Rangers haven't really put this game out of sight so far. But you must compliment Jim Leighton particularly on that. Hibs do have an opportunity, I think, to get back into this game. They must hold it in the Rangers half and get support from midfield. And if they do that, they've got a chance. But Rangers look when they get forward, and Loudrop in particular look as if they can score more goals. So we're out well into stoppage time. There have been a few knocks and strips in this first half. A few Dallas checks his watch. The Rangers are looking for number two here. It's Alberts. McInnes, Clellan started a good run. But, uh, I would say Hibs would be unhappy to go in at the interval. 1-0 behind the whistle, in fact, sounds. There's applause all round Ibrox. It was Richard Goff, the Rangers skipper, who gave his team the lead after just four minutes. It was superb play by Loudrop and a powerful close-range header by Richard Goff at Ibrook Stadium. It's Rangers 1, Hibernian Dill. Yes, yeah, so Rangers 1 up at Ibrox. We'll hear the thoughts of Stuart McCall and Alex McLeish in just a couple of minutes. Good ball. As you can see, both teams uh, back out on the field. No further changes to the Rangers lineup. They to send on Derek McInnes in the first half of Trevor Stephen. Uh, no changes in the Hibs lineup. So Hibs with it all to do in this second half. They've failed to win in the eight Premier Division games since beating Wraith Rovers on December the 21st. As I said earlier, Jim Duffy still awaits his first league win as manager. On the other hand, Rangers are unbeaten in the last 13 matches since losing 1-0 to Dundee United at Tannadice on December the 10th. So if Hibs can take something out of this, they'll have done extremely well. And uh, here's Kevin Harper, who came close with a header in the first half, the smallest man in the field, but they managed to 
been in a decent attempt, which was uh, saved by Andy Gorham. And right away, it's uh, Chris Jackson swinging in the ball. It's headed behind by Richard Goff. Good positive start by Hibernian. Richard Goff there rallying the troops. As Archie Knox said, their hips will carry a threat here in these early stages. They'll be anxious to get back into it. They had the moments in the first half after a very good opening by Rangers. It's played through by Grant. It's a good ball to Darren Jackson. But, uh, comfortably held by Andy Gorham. It'll take something special to beat him. He's looking for his fifth consecutive shutout this afternoon as Gorham. It's played through now by Ferguson. Nicely weighted ball through for Loudrup. And this is a man Hibs will have to put the shackles on if they have any chance. Good ball through now for McInnes. Well, almost turned in by Sean Dennis. Jim Layton had already committed himself. And the ball goes behind for the corner kick. Nice ball through from Loudrup to McInnes. Jim Layton, I was glad to see that one go behind. And this was uh, Sean Dennis. Once again, Goff and McLaren have moved forward. Goff comes in to attack this one. Breaks away to Cleland, back to Loudrup. Floats it in again, looking for Goff. And it's uh, knocked away there by Sean Dennis. Alberts, Robertson pushing forward as ever, still it's Robertson! And Jury got a touch on that one, it's behind for the goal kick. Once again, you see the threat from David Robertson, he's always willing to push forward. Clever little nutmeg from Robertson, causing danger again. It's a difficult one for Jury, it's just the reaction, he's got to react to it, he just can't get the, the length. The Rangers coming back at Hibs after a good promising start to the second half. I think as we heard that to Knox here at half time, you know, they really need this second goal to, to be a bit more comfortable, but Hibs are always a threat. It's away by Yorkland. Good play by David Elliott. We just play the way out of a tight situation. It's out of uh, David Elliott. Rangers ball. Seen towards Jury. Well, again, Hibs don't pick him up. Here's Gordon Jury. And he goes. It's a penalty. Well, that was desperate defending by Hibernian. They were caught out with that. A couple of times in the first half, they really should have cleared that ball. Jury got away from one and two defenders. He brought down Hugh Dallas had no hesitation, pointing towards the spot. The challenge went in there from Sean Dennis. But Dennis and Hunter have found it very difficult to deal with Gordon Jury during this match. Now Chick Chanley is talking himself into trouble, and that's just foolishness. Jury's over there as well. Uh, George Alberts is standing it, uh, passively at the ball. But a penalty it is, and this could really finish it all off. Well, the first goal came four minutes into the first half. It's four minutes into the second half. It's Alberts. It's 2 0. And George Alberts gets his 12th goal of the season he struck it nicely right into the corner well there's not much chance here's the incident with Judy going through terrible positional sense from Hunter that creates a problem Dennis is struggling to get there and he doesn't get the ball and it's a penalty but for Alberts you can see Jim Lane's reaction this is the tap in for him well placed no great power and now they're comfortable so 12 goals for George Alberts, four from the penalty spot. And he's overtaken his record uh, of last season for Hamburg, where he was skipper. He scored 10 goals for them. 
certainly he's paying back the four million pound transfer fee. But crazy defending by Hibernian. And there were several times during the first half that uh, Rangers players got in behind the defence when they shouldn't have. And that was another example. But there's Jury involved now with Charlie. And the referee is in quickly to sort things out. Jury going in late. And uh, the referee is going to take action here. Jerry, I think he's, he's simply put his studs into the shin of Chick Charlie there. Clearly went from and deserves to be booked for that. So Rangers very much in the driving seat here on course for another three championship points and less hips. And pulls only out very quickly to so Rangers. Look very much in the mood. There was a little bit of slackness at one stage in the first half, but over the piece they've dominated this game. The free kick against Richard Goff. Special play by Charlie. is Rennick, Miller, there's Laudrup, and showing good skill, good determination, Robertson has pushed forward, well the flag is up against David Robertson who had started a good run, he's so quick at breaking out of the fence. Perhaps they can't afford to gamble like that, if you gamble with the pace of Robertson and the, the passing from Laudrup, he will get caught out, and they're very fortunate to get away with that. Swept away by McLaren. Jury's there. So to his Charlie. But uh, Loudrup nips the ball away from his top. It's Jury trying one. That's a fine effort. Leighton got a touch on it. It's a corner kick. Blistering shot from uh, Gordon Jury from well out. And Jim Leighton made an excellent save. That was heading towards the back of the net. Well, he had the option of Loudrup, who was running wide for him, but uh, he had a blast himself. Fine effort. Once again, as you can see, Richard Goff is forward for the set piece. Well, the flag uh, has got up on this near side. The ball had swerved out of play. And Jim Leighton is just a bit crestfallen. He performed some heroics in the first half to keep Hibs in the game, but now they're trailing by 2-0. What a great shot uh, just a moment or two ago from Gordon Jury. Hit with great power, pace and Leighton with a vital touch on it. Charlie over the ball. Darren Jackson's here, he gets a good touch on it. And Hibbs get one back. Well, that gives him a glimmer of hope. Sean Dennis was well forward there. Charlie swung the ball in. It wasn't the best defending in the world here by Rangers. Darren Jackson got a good knockdown on it. And Rangers were struggling. And Sean Dennis was there. Just bundle it over the line. It's a good deep cross. Good gamble from young Greg Miller. Cause his problems, but Alan McLaren has left Darren Jackson. Took his eye off the ball. You see Miller coming in, determined to get there. Dennis thanks him very much for that. Well, a lifeline for Hibernian. They seem to be right out of it. But uh, Rangers going for the jugular. 
That's low drop. Tag uh, goes behind for the goal kick. Now the referee is having a stern word here with David Elliott. Uh, Jim Layton comes the situation. Uh, Jim Duffy 